and welcome back to my Astro Imaging Journey channel. Uh, apologies once again, I must have not hit the microphone button when I recorded this. So I'm going to do my best to voice over this and uh, let's see if we can get this going. In this chapter, we're going to do some color calibration. Uh, I always try to start with the photometric color calibration. And if that fails, then I go to the normal color calibration process. So let's get at it. All right, so let's go to all processes and photometric color calibration. All right, once the uh, PCC window comes up, we can leave our right white reference as average spiral galaxy. We can also uh, change our database server to whatever one you choose, but we need to get the image coordinates. So hit search coordinates. Let's type in M81, click search. Once that comes up, as you see, we can hit get. And that will populate our right ascension and declination values. Uh, the next thing we'll want to change is our focal length and pixel size to match our optical rig and also the observation date. That one you can probably leave default, try it if it works great, otherwise uh, put in the observation date from one of your images and uh, it normally works for me at that point. For my rig, the focal length is 1960, and my pixel size is 3.72. And now we just uh, apply <coughs> PCC to the image and let it do its thing. Now this took uh, 53 seconds to complete. Um, you will see that it does fail. Uh, one thing that I could have done was enable distortion detection and tweak the sensitivity. Since I am using drizzled data, I needed to change my uh, focal length from 1960 to double that, so 3920. Uh, and it might have worked, uh, but in this particular instance, I just wanted to move on and let's demonstrate the color calibration process instead. All right, so you'll see here I've already cleared out my previous preview and opened up color calibration, which is under processes, all processes, color calibration. Um, so what we're looking for is we need a dark spot, um, you know, a real nice dark area of the image to be our uh, black reference, our background reference. And after we complete that, we will select basically the whole galaxy. Um, you know, we'll turn off structure detection and what that allows color calibration to do is look at the highest values within the galaxy, within that preview window that selects the galaxy and basically take the highest values and use that for its calculations. So we've completed the uh, background preview. And as you can see now, we're selecting basically the entire galaxy, not, not the entire galaxy, but the vast majority of it. Then we're gonna select our white reference, which is the galaxy preview or preview two. And our background, we're gonna disable structure detection and then we're going to select our background reference which is preview one all 
with everything selected appropriately now, we will apply the color calibration process to our image. And it brightens up quite a bit. And what I like to do is just toggle the uh, screen transfer function off and on uh, just to make sure our colors look good on the screen. And with that, this chapter is completed. Again, apologies for having to do a uh, voiceover. Hope it came out okay. Um, you know, sometimes things just happen. Uh, so I'd like to thank you for watching. And uh, please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you so choose. Ring that bell if you want to get notified when there's new content. And I'll be, as always, clear skies. Have a good one.